Hi, this is Matt with Fully Silent PCs. Is a heatsink necessary for an NVMe solid state drive? I tested an Intel 600P to find the answer for myself. This drive was placed in a fanless Akasa Galileo case with a 35 watt Intel i3 processor. I ran Crystal Disk Mark three times with three cooling scenarios. First, the drive was tested bare with no heatsink. Second, it was tested with four small heatsinks on the SSD controller. Third, the drive was also tested with a full M.2 heatsink. Let's look at the results. The bare drive throttled itself at 75 degrees C. It performed well, but nowhere close to its advertised speeds of 1570 megabytes per second sequential read and 540 megabytes per second sequential write. The small heatsinks on the controller did not help much. The drive still throttled itself at 75 degrees. It performed similarly, or even worse than the bare drive. The larger M.2 heatsink, however, prevented the drive from throttling itself, keeping it below 67 degrees at all times. Performance was also significantly better, and came close to the advertised speeds for the Intel 600P. Looking at them side by side, we can better compare the differences. Sequential reads and writes significantly improved. Random reads did not benefit so much. Random writes were kind of all over the place, but it's clear that the heatsink helped with multi-threaded random writes. If I average the results, I get 314, 304, and 412 megabytes per second. Based on these results, I think that it is important to use an M.2 heatsink for NVMe drives, especially without much airflow over the drive. All NVMe drives ordered as part of a fully silent PC will come with M.2 heatsinks at no extra cost. Support more testing like this by making your next computer a fully silent PC from FullySilentPCs.com